In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this sort of edge detection that works both on EV and cycles. You can use the same technique to add some wear and tear and grunges to your model. Select the object, press Ctrl Tab, go to Vertex Paint, click on Paint, click on Dirty Vertex Colors, Naughty. This might take a while depending on the complexity of your model. Alright, you can't see much of a difference. You can click here to access more of the data, or press F9 if that thing closes. I'm going to change a few settings in mine, feel free to do whatever you want here. You can toggle this box on and off, depending on your model it will help or not, you have to try it for yourself. Now if you look right here in the vertex colors, you can see that I created a new one called Call. You can change that if you want to. Now let's head over to the shading workspace. Here in the shading workspace I'm going to change this color a little bit, duplicate it, add a mix shader, and add an attribute node. This is the most important one. We're going to call for the vertex color. Here a name, type call. Now drag the factor into the factor of the mix shader. And in order to control it, add a color ramp. I'm going to set the other color as a line green so we can see it a little better. Select the color ramp, and I'll drag the black values to clip. And there you have it. You can change the mode of the color ramp to try something else. I usually stick to either constant or linear. Constant gives us a very sharp edge. So I don't use it very often. I'm going to go back to linear. And that's it. Any changes you make in vertex paint will apply to here.